it's the weekend and I have decided it is definitely time to catch up on my traveller's notebook. I haven't done anything since the beginning of May so I have printed off some of my photos, some of my favourite ones, mainly the garden. This is the printer that I have, it's a Canon selfie. I'm going to put a link below to the printer so you can have a better look. I can't video the printer working because I need it to use my phone, I print from my phone so I can't be printing from a phone and recording it at the same time. This is a special photo paper that you get with the printer and using an app, a Canon app, you just choose the photos you want to print and you can set them out. You could either have them full size, which would be sort of a regular photo size, or you have two on a page, which I've done here, so you can sort of see the size of them. Obviously I've taken that one as a square so you can just go into the app, uh, into the photo and resize it to fit. And I've done these ones uh, four to a page. Again, just I've resized them to fit in the size I want. Um, and I just use my paper trimmer, trimmer to cut them to size. And yeah, so I'm just going to begin to put the photos together in the layouts that I'm going to be having them on the pages. And then I'm going to go back to do them in order. So I think that's probably my lovely Clematis. Um, that's going to be the first one that I do. This is definitely the best year yet. It's only a few years old, but um, I'm really happy with how that spread out in the spring there. And then, I'm not really sure. I think maybe the beach came next. I don't really have a lot of photos from May. I don't feel like, well, we didn't do much, did we? We didn't go anywhere. And I've got my finished socks. You can see how good the colour comes out on this printer. I'm really happy with this printer. I got it last summer. And I would definitely recommend it if you are scrapbooking or you just want to print off photos to keep. It's a great way of printing out things to give as gifts as well. I mean, you can see how clear some of these pictures are. Really, really nice. Really happy with the printer.
going to add this picture to my traveller's notebook. So it's my socks, rainbow socks. And I've just looked out lots of elements that I've got that are brightly coloured. And this is kind of how I start off with a page. So I'm not necessarily going to use everything I've looked out. I've just looked out things that are bright and colours match or that I like, etc. Um, I've also found some stickers here that I thought these colours are particularly similar. So I could use that somehow. And I've got these bright floral stickers as well. Some of the colours are very similar. So I've got a few options there. And I've looked out some backing paper. Um, first one that came to hand was this yellow. I don't know if I've got more bright colours, but I might have a quick look to see if I've got anything that actually has rainbows on it. I can't think off the top of my head, but I'm just going to have a quick look through some of my other things. Because the socks are kind of, well they are rainbow colours. I've changed my mind on the paper. I've just found this really nice kind of tealy blue one and I just love all the colours. So I'm going to use this one as my background. Definitely would like to use most of these elements if I can. And I've also found some other sheets with things that I might be able to use. Um, just anything bright. So there's some nice rainbow dots here. And there's even little bunting flags. These are just pages of scrapbooking stickers. Obviously the theme has nothing to do with my socks, but I was just looking for colours and that blue spotty one will go as well. It's not from the same pack as the paper, but it matches nicely. And what else did I find? Some more bright stickers here, so I may be able to use little bits there as well, just to fill up the page. So I'm just going to have a play about, see what works, and start sticking some things in. basically added in every element I could find that was rainbow coloured and I love it. It's so bright and happy. I'm really happy with how that page turned out and I really like the addition of this border because the little balls kind of match the wool. The balls of wool. So that's pretty cute. So I think I'm caught up with May so now I can begin June. I have managed to finish quite a few pages and I have very, very almost caught up. So I, yeah, that was me. Um, I got really bad with my running and yoga in me and I forgot to mark my yoga. I did do yoga, but I forgot when I've done it. And the running took a bit of a backseat because the weather did get really hot. Um, so I've added in my beautiful peach poppies. I'm so glad I've got these photographed now are gorgeous 
and then my sock page and I've just added a few other beautiful flowers look at the colour of that, that is the true colour amazing and then I've just done a big cover page for June and I quite like this one I just added in um, a one photo on the page so that I could have my tracker on the bottom of the page but I've just added some stamps at the top there which I think are really fun they're all from different packs apart from these two are in the same pack and the rest are all different packs so I just love how you end up with a collection where things just kind of all come together so I thought that was quite nice on a beachy page and added some bunting my friend sent me that so I have been back to run in I've done well I haven't been again this week though because a couple of days in the middle got really hot and I just decided I wasn't going this morning maybe tomorrow I'll try and then look we are very nearly at July so I've just got caught up with myself and it's going to be July so at least I'm caught up still got a couple of pages to do so I'm going to do a page for my pink peony which opened that's a beautiful photo with some raindrops on it so I've got one of it opened and I obviously have a strawberry page which I'm really excited to do I found when I was looking through some stuff some strawberry paper and like ages ago last year I bought some strawberry stickers so they'll be good to embellish that page and um, see if I can get, get a few out to see what they look like oh yeah they're gonna be I'm just gonna whole strawberry page <laughs> just cover it in strawberries so that'll be a fun one to do and what else have I got a lovely photo of some roses that I rescued just before we had some heavy rain and a nice little picture of Joshua that's the same beach that same day we were there so I can probably do a few more pages tomorrow and then I'll be caught up for now I'm going to go downstairs and sort out some dinner and I have to tidy up in here too because it's a mess this is a new starter that I made this week um, my old one went really mouldy so I had to make a new one it looks amazing. This is the first day it's looking good, so it's all stringy and spongy. So I think maybe tomorrow I can start looking at using it to bake.
we found this at the edge of the beach behind the car park. So we brought it home and of course we're going to plant it up. Full of wildflowers. It's going to go over there somewhere. Next to Joshua's shade. He wants that as a wildflower area, hence the longer bits of grass. Mm -hmm.